everyone. Hello, 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 hello. We are live. Yes, it is Wig Wednesday. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry I don't have a video for you folks, but we're doing a Wig Wednesday live because, well, it's my birthday week and I decided I'm taking time for myself. The most important thing of all, me. So I decided for this little fun, like a fun special thing to do here for Wig Wednesday, I'm just going to style a wig on live because it's a gift and I made it for you. So enjoy. Yes, we are doing big green glamour today, which means I'm gonna be rolling setting this gorgeous green wig. And if you like her, she'll be available on my website later. That's right, we're, I'm doing work while I do this. I'm working while I'm working. It's part of my life at this point. How's everyone doing? Let me see how we're going in the chats right now. Um, hi, Yamez on Twitch. Hi, Allison on YouTube. Alex, hello. Aisha, hello. Sarah. And let's see, um, okay, cool. Nobody on Facebook as of yet, but they'll be there, I'm sure. You know, the oldies, they might be asleep by now. I'm pretty sure the buses are taking them back to their homes. Yes, here we go. Let's start by styling a wig here on YouTube Live and Twitch Live. Oh my goodness, how have you folks been? I've had the best birthday in years, honestly. I spent it in LA and I just did a little spell over there just to have some fun for myself. I hung out with the Dolls Witness, one of my favorite like people on like Instagram and they have a YouTube channel now. And we did a little video together where we ranked my top five favorite Barbie fashions. And not being one for style or anything like that, I don't really care for fashion. So I ranked a lot of things based on hair. So that's really where it all came through. Yes. Oh, thank you, Sarah, for that belated happy birthday. Thank you. Hey, Carl. Do you love the new longer intro? Big thank you to Carl because I wanted to make sure I actually had the chats going by the time the, like this thing actually started because it's becoming like an unofficial tradition on this stream where the first two minutes is dedicated to me being like, okay, just give me a second while I get the chat going. So yeah, hopefully that's a thing of the past. But you know what? Old habits die hard. Now. I want to get this wig started so that she can be big, glamorous, and someone could own this possibly. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Prince Harming. Oh my gosh. I was just on a like creeping on a live stream with Prince Harming, um, um, doll thighs, and a bunch of other himbos while they all were like playing Dead by Daylight with their chests out. Yeah, they all were big chested men, manly men, and you know, just breasts everywhere. It was great. It was wonderful. I should join in on that sometime. I'm not wearing the plate today. We're just doing bullet bra with Flower Wower, the reproduction from Unique Vintage, <gasps> which reminds me, okay, before I do anything, honestly, I say this is one of the best birthdays I've had because no one ever really gets me gifts or like really, really meaningful, cool gifts. So this one really blew me out of the water. Check it out. I actually match her now. Jack from Dolls Witness actually gifted me a vintage TNT mod style Barbie. I didn't realize this was actually Barbie because I don't know anything about mod dolls. But yeah, check her out. She's got rooted eyelashes. She's in great condition. Like the hair is gorgeous. And we have the same dress. Like check that out. Oh my goodness. Like mine is really tight. Like this bra is like bursting right now. It is so tight on me. But she's a cutie pie. Look at her. I adore her and she is now a part of my collection. And I'm secretly really, really angry with Jackson from Dolls Witness because I made a point not to buy any mod dolls because I didn't want to start a whole new collection, especially one that's like so extensive. And now I have to because I have three dolls now. Well, three, two and a half. I have Flower Wow or Barbie. I have Pretty Growing Hair Francie. And I now also found this in my collection. I have a ponytail mod Barbie doll I have to find a body for, which means she's gonna have to have an outfit, which means we're gonna be spending some money. So, uh, if you would like to gift me your old Barbie dolls, I am a convalescent home for old dolls. Let's see. Oh, hello, hello, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Meow Meow. I adore her, like she is so cute. Oh, hi, Tony Crazy. New chatter over on Twitch. Use the emotes, they're fun. Okay. Here we go. Hey, fat orange tan. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that, but okay. Here we are. 
What are you planning for your birthday? Well, I already celebrated. Like we have, I like did the video with Dolls Witness. I decided I just want to do something chill because I've tried to have parties in the past and they always flop. So I just went and hung out with a friend. We had dinner and that was that. You know, I turned 34, 24 in style, you know, in nice quiet style. Also, I'm getting, ugh, I'm getting exhausted when it comes to like going out and everything. I don't enjoy it as much anymore. I come to think like maybe I never enjoyed it. <laughs> maybe I was always pretending I liked it. But yeah, the more the time passes, the more I realize I don't like being in clubs and drinking. Okay. Here we are. James, avoid the hair fair mod Barbie. You'll be burning, you'll be hunting hair pieces for like life. Oh my God. Yes, I've seen that one where it comes with like bobby pins and like hair switches and all sorts of stuff. Like, again, it's dangerous. Like, this is horrible. I'm so angry now because now I feel like I have to have more. And they're not cheap. Like, these things are expensive. So it's going to be one of those things where it's like I'll gift myself one a year. What's your next gig? I'm going to be in Portland, Oregon, I believe in May. Um, I believe like sometime in May I'll be coming there. They haven't quite announced the date yet, but I believe we are in the works of that right now. Not a whole lot of travel really planned. I kind of laying low and enjoying just being in Vegas doing Senor Frogs. They have some really fun stuff. Our next theme is actually big top themed. If you're looking for a big top, yes. Um, circus, carnival, that kind of thing. All of our numbers are going to be angled around that. So if you want to see Derek Barry perform circus, now's your chance. I mean, she's going to perform that anyway, but now she'll be in a ringleader outfit. Ah. James, you look so beautiful. Oh my God, thank you. I was doing a little different stuff with my makeup today. I wanted to switch it up a little bit because I'm going to lie to you guys. I was getting a little bored with my makeup routine. I decided it's time for a switch. So we're switching things up. We're going to see how this goes and try to go a little bigger again because I was painting really small and I got kind of comfortable with it. Now we're just going to switch it up a little bit now. It's time. <gasps> should I mention that comment I saw that destroyed me? I really feel like I should. So this comment I saw the other day because if you don't know, I share a birthday with a lot of Drag Race girls like Daya Betty, Alyssa Hunter, and especially Monet Exchange. We have the same birthday. I'm convinced we're probably like, you know, cosmic twins. We were probably born in the same hour for all I know. We're the same age. And someone left a comment in one of those like birthday reels, like the carousels of all the girls the same birthdays. And they're like, oh my God, I can't believe James and Monet are the same age. James looks so much older. When I tell you, it was as if that comment had pulled out a shotgun and blew me right through the heart. That's what that was. I was very devastated. I was devastated. So we're switching the makeup up. Apparently I paint like an old lady. So we're going to change it up now. That was, that was my wake up call. <laughs> oh, what do the kids say nowadays? That was your 13th reason? Yeah, my 13th reason. <laughs> oh, hateful. People on the internet can be so hateful. I, I agree. I don't deserve that. Like that was, that was a harsh truth. That was like a plain Jane level harsh truth. You know, you didn't have to say that. <laughs> I mean, it was true, but you didn't have to say that. Jeez. That's the worst. Ducky Dance on Twitch said, hi, James. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a blast. Honestly, we just returned. We took a car service home from Las Vegas, or it's from Los Angeles, and it blew my mind. I didn't realize this existed. It's like a new thing. It was called like Day Trip or something, and it was a car, like Uber, that drove me from LA all the way back to Las Vegas. It was sickening, and it wasn't that expensive, and like apparently you could add on like, you know, stop. So if I ever wanted to go to Peggy Sue's Diner, which I always want to stop at, but something tells me it's going to be like the beginning of my horror movie where this is like, you know, I'll meet some like drifter there and they'll murder me later or chase us down in a car chase. So I never stop. But if someone else is at the wheel, they're probably qualified to you know, outspeed them. So maybe if, when I decide to spoil myself for like, you know, a staycation, we'll do that. 
But yeah, I loved it. So yeah, that's the plan for now. Go to Peggy Sue's diner and, you know, see the dinosaurs and the dead koi in the pond. Be lovely. Eat at the Jane Mansfield table and see which boobs are open because they rope them off when they're closed and never repair them. Let's see. What else is going on? <laughs> no, I'm not. Let's see. They're lucky you're not the petty revenge type. How do you know that? I'll get them in other ways, okay? It's coming. Oh, it's coming. All right? When they least expect it. Oh, hi, doll thighs. Leave your big breast um, comment, your little email. I want to see that. Leave that. It's my favorite email. <laughs> yes, we have a few dolls in the background. I have Flower Wower Mod Barbie. And this is pitiful, but I redid this recently. It is. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? I recently like made my own bootleg build Lily out of a repro doll. I think she looks pretty good, but you know, the paint could be a little better. But yeah, the, the hair is everything. Like the hair, I rooted myself. So that's, that's really what you're gonna check out here. That's, that's the winning ticket there, but that's my bootleg build Lily. Yeah, we have fun over here. <laughs> because I lost a build Lily like on eBay and it devastated me because it was actually super cheap. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna make our own. We're gonna solve this problem one way or another. Aurora Cashmere on Facebook said, I'm also styling a wig. Any suggestions on a Mary Antoinette inspiration wig? Buy one. Yeah, don't, just buy one. That wig is everywhere. <laughs> Honestly, a roller set is gonna be your best friend. That's what makes it. So just look up a roller set tutorial. I'm pretty sure they probably have one from Marie Antoinette. I think it's just a standard one. And make sure rollers are angled up. Don't have them angled back. Angle them up. And that'll be all you need, especially to like build the hair up. You don't want them angled back. The breast and mouth on Twitch. Yes! The boobs! <laughs> Thank you, doll thighs. Why aren't you playing Dead by Daylight right now? I almost downloaded that game. <gasps> Question. Gays on Twitch that would know this. If I don't have a PS5, am I still able to play with you? Like, does it... Does it cross generations? Is that a thing? Or do I have to buy a, t a PS5 with the game? Because I play on PlayStation because, you know, I'm poor. So, yeah, that's, that's the story right now. I don't have, I don't, I can't justify just like throwing away money on that yet. I'd rather buy Barbie dolls. <laughs> I just woke up. Oh, well, okay. All right then. Uh, maybe I'll Google it later, I guess. It's cross-play. What'd you say about me? Oh, 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 oh. I get it, I get it. It took me a minute there. I got a little offended, but I get it. I get it now, yes. Thank you, thank you for answering that question. Oh my God, please play Dead by Daylight. Maybe I will, Bounty. Again, like, I've been cooking some stuff up. The kids over there on Twitch, the kooky crazy kids, they're over there playing with big breasts. And you know what? I think if I put my breastplate on, that might actually get me on the main page. Because I feel like, you know, that's the winning ticket there. I feel like I've, I've cracked the code. I found the formula. Oh yeah, I sound like Sasha Bell. I have found out the, I cracked the code for Drag Race. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frisbee Jenkins, Frisbee Jenkins now. I love this, I don't know why. What? Someone said, Allison said, advice please. I just got a random text just saying hello. Oh, oh, that's exciting. Do you, you don't recognize the number. It could be a phishing scam or it could be the next level of your life. You never know. Honestly, just say new phone, who's this? And see what happens. And let me know the backstory. Let's, what's the deets, what do they say? If it gets too dark, just block the number. That's what I always do. But usually those are phishing scams. They're trying to get you to like, you know, give them information. Cause I get those all the time where it's just like, oh my God, I haven't heard from you since high school. And it's just like, I know for a fact where all of my high school, cause I had like six of them. 
and you're not one of them. So yeah, they can't get me like that. I'm not gotten that easily. It's like, you know, you're not a fruit fly named Nora or Sophie, okay? I know where all my high school friends are. Holy Vera said, breastplate and a trampoline while you play video games. <gasps> That's a good idea. I should borrow Yara's jiggly one. She has like five of them. Just like play video games while I jiggle. I doubt she's taking inventory. She won't miss one. Maybe you play Dead Space. It's a 3D person horror game and a remake that was just released. Oh, is it a shooter game? Because that's also a thing I have, I have problems with. You probably have watched the Cory playthroughs. Whenever I have to shoot something, it never goes in my favor. I always end up getting everyone killed. I'm horrible at first person shooter games. Like when I used to play Goldeneye with my brothers and sisters and everything, like it never worked out. I was always the worst one. Even playing Odd Job, I always got killed. Oh yeah, it's a shooter. Yeah, you just want to see me humiliate myself. And honestly, if you want to see that, it's all over the place. <laughs> I don't have to play video games for you to indulge in that fantasy. Join us. I will Prince Harming. Honestly, just let me know when you guys play. And if our schedules align, I'll do it. I see you guys like always are playing at like 1 and 2 a.m. to like all hours of the night. I don't know how you have it in you. Like I saw a deer place for like nine hours sometimes. It's like, girl. What, 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 like, um, what primer are you using where I can withstand that? All right. Hair is almost hurled. Oh, I have an ad on YouTube right now. Sorry, guys. Hopefully you can hear me. If not, you'll watch it later. It's okay. It'll be available. We just have two more to go here and we can start steaming. So let's get that cooking. Turbo, okay. Steamer is ready to go. La, 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 la. Curling hair because I'm the prettiest girl on YouTube and Twitch. La, 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 la. Facebook too, sometimes when people show up. I'm a hidden gem on Facebook. La 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 la. Chris asked on Facebook, is YouTube better to watch on? Um, it depends. It's just, a re it's really a matter of like what you're into and you know, what your vibe is. If you like, you know, the red and white kind of aesthetic, YouTube's your thing. <laughs> if you like purple, Twitch is your thing. And if you like white and blue, Facebook is your thing. Whoa, okay. It's like a nightmare in Elm Street in here right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, where's my bag? Where's my bag? Where's my bag? There we go. She is really going. It woke the dog up. Oh my God. I feel like a diva. Like I'm going to sing opera with the steam going. All right. Oh my God. Calm down. Do I see that? Is it like really steamy? No, I'm not steaming at all. It's really oh, okay. Because it's like blowing hot air at me right now. Steamer. Con hair steamer. I haven't used a steamer in forever, so it could be a, like a huge disaster. I'm used to the industrial one, so we'll see what this actually does. But I didn't feel like dragging that thing all the way up the stairs, so it is what it is. I feel like it's getting hot. In the meantime, how are we doing? We are late. We're we're, we're late. We're late night goblins. Oh, that's good to know. All right. So it could do be like an after the gig kind of thing. Like I'll I'll film a video and then hop on Twitch or something. We can make it work. I'll find a way to make it work. Is this wig for you? No, it's I'm a wig I'm gonna put on my website later. So yeah, it's it's for sale. <laughs> I wouldn't wear green hair. <laughs> it's not Halloween time. Oh, the steam is taking forever. Like, it feels like it's going, but it feels like nothing's heating up. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. Steam, steam, steam. Steam. Caftan realist? No, it's actually, 
It's actually a 60s flouncy mini dress. I won't stand up because I'm not padded and I don't have like leggings on, but it's like a little bell dress. It's a, the flower wower from Unique Vintage, like the old Barbie mod dress. I'm looking at myself in the monitor right now and I look gorgeous tonight. And not a lot of you are saying that, which really devastates me because I look really nice. Like Lady Bunny style, yes, a little bit. Very much that with the bell sleeves. It's very kind of her, her kind of scene. The laughing kind of crowd. Oh, well, thank you, doll thighs. Appreciate that. I'd say the same thing about you, but you're wearing far too many clothes yesterday, so fix that. You're, when I, you go on live, you're supposed to be in a harness and a mystery beneath. And that's it. Oh, thank you, Lacey. Appreciate it. See, Lacey knows what's up. <laughs> okay, I feel like it's heated up enough. How do I turn it off now? Calm down. Oh my God. All right, it's enough of that. Let's see how it's going. It feels like it heated up. Hopefully they curl because my biggest fear is that it didn't get hot whatsoever. So hopefully there's enough in there to give them a curl. In the meantime, let's see how we're doing in this comment section. Thank you, Molly. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. James, you're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, James Brown. Wow, what a name. What a name. How was it like growing up with that name? I'm curious. <laughs> how many jokes have you heard in your lifetime? I must know. How many times they told you to get on the good foot? All right, hopefully I don't blow a fuse doing this. Uh. What rollers do I use? I think they're Annie, but they're just pink wire mesh rollers. They sell them at like Walmart and stuff too, but they have like little combs in them. So you just rip the combs out and you're none the wiser. Like they come right out. But yeah, these are the ones. I don't know the inches of them, but they're on my um, affiliate links. So if you want them, they're there. You can get them. Okay, it didn't work. Just give me a minute. Give me one minute. Oh, thank you, Centric Countess. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Do 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 do. Let's see if they're dry. All right. Uh. I think that steamer's still going. Is it? It is. Did I remove the water thing? Good eye, good eye. All right. It was making the strangest noise, like a squeaky sound, a annoying squeaky screechy sound. I don't know who, who would do that. So annoying. All right. They feel dry, so let's hopefully let's hope it worked out because I haven't used a steamer in forever. Like these little ones, I'm not a fan of them. But again, laziness won out today because I just got off of a four-hour car ride. So it is what it is. You know, I'm owning it. <sighs> okay, here we go. I had to refuel. Hopefully it's curled. Oh yeah, it's curled. We're good. We're good, we're in business right now. All right, we're not closing up shop yet. The whistle notes, yes, thank you, I know. 
It's like hearing the Yes And remix right now. I know, I know. Also, how many of us were hyped for that? And what were your thoughts? I want to know. Because I got a little hype for like the one day they announced it and released it. And then I heard it and I don't know how I feel about it. It just didn't seem very necessary. Or if Mariah was going to do it, I wish she would have sang like she did on Charm Bracelet. That like, whisper singing through the rain. And like, she builds up. It's a slow build. You get like two bars of her like actual singing. That's what I wanted. It's a pleasant song. Thank you, Prince Harming. That's a, that's a, that's a wonderful day. Look at you. Not one to offend. James Treat on YouTube wants to know, how did you learn to style wigs? Um, honestly, everything here is self-taught. Um, watching like vintage tutorials from girls on YouTube that would do like pinup styles. Although they're using curling irons. Very few girls actually use rollers. <clears throat> But also like old vintage styling books, like they'd give you roller patterns and those are really helpful too. Like if you go to your library, I'm sure they probably have a bunch of them that are just sitting on a dusty shelf. Those are super helpful. Like I used to look at those just for fun. Cause like when I used to like draw a lot or make puppets, I was always obsessed with like 60s hair. So I used to check those out at the library and look through those all the time too. So like a lot of that stuff's in my memory. Just like playing around with stuff like styling Barbie hair and stuff, or hair from my puppets. Because I was always obsessed with Jade Mansfield, so it's like when the 60s, my favorite era of her, where she was wearing like beehives and bubble flips and like barrel curls, I always want to learn how to do those hairstyles. The absurdity of like an updo with a long ponytail hanging down. Doll thighs, is there a reason you don't use a curling iron? Well, not for these wigs because it's synthetic. So a curling iron would burn it. They get very few fibers actually can withstand them. And I'm not even that pleased with like the result when you use the curling iron. Like you're better off just like using a steamer for synthetic wigs because it doesn't get hot enough really to burn the wig. You can definitely burn it, but if you're, if you're careful about it, it won't. Generally, that's a pretty safe bet. So when it comes to curling a wig, I use a steamer. Where is my TV? There it is. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. Ah, break its neck. Yeah, I might have to change this dress because I have very little movement. It's so tight. Also, for some reason, Twitch is lagging today. It's like Twitch is on dial-up and YouTube is just excellent condition. Oh my god, YouTube is a battery and Twitch is like a potato <laughs> with some wires attached. Yeah, running <laughs> fine too. Because I'm a potato. Oh my god, Portal. That'd be a fun game to play on Twitch. I should play Portal. I love that game. With Gladys. I never actually played Portal 2, but I remember like when I was getting ready for All Stars and I'd like walk around and think for ideas, I would just like walk the dog and listen to like the best of Gladys. <laughs> Cause that bitch could read, all right? She was reading down. What was my favorite one? Where she like constantly insults the character you're playing as by like calling her fat. So she was just like, some people would leave quarantine undernourished it's amazing how you managed to beat the odds and pack on a few pounds. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> and like, when you look at Shell, like she hasn't gained any weight at all. She looks exactly the same. <sighs> now I want to reinstall Portal 2. It's a good game. Like I, I only listen to like the, the, the dialogue from it. But Portal's a good game. I'm shocked they haven't made any more of those. You know where you realize? Huh? We on the music phone. We don't. Oh my God, I think my iPad's downstairs. Let me do it with my phone. Good eye, or good ear, I guess. Let me grab one of my phones and turn it on. I'm just sitting here talking, you know, talking up a storm, no music playing. My God, we are in sore shapes right now. Totally bear said, what about Katy Power's matchmaker for Twitch? They have gays in it. What is this? 
On YouTube. Kitty Power Snatchmaker. Matchmaker. Matchmaker. Oh, sna oh, not Snatchmaker. Okay, not that. <laughs> I wish it was that. Like a fun dress-up game where give everyone vaginas. All right, let's see. Music playlists. Best of Latin music. Oh, no. James Livestream playlist. There we are. I shouldn't play Bad Bunny during here. I'll get copyright strikes. There it is. Just enough for ambient music. All right. There we are. Make sure it's actually shuffling and repeating. And repeat. Oh. Never mind. Okay. And... Repeat. There we are. All right, now we're good. Technology, I tell you. It's it's a slow moving beast over here on this channel, but we're making it work. We're gonna defy the odds. Hi, James. James Brown is an online pseudonym. I'm actually Asian, so I'm fortunate to have heard. Okay, <laughs> your name's not actually James Brown. Okay, well that's fun. I mean, back in the day, I used to wanna like go by Jimmy Mac because it's like the Marvelettes song. Not Marvelettes, is um, who, who sang Jimmy Mac? That was the Vandellas. Yeah, Martha Reese and the Vandellas, because of that song, because I like girl group music. Yeah, one of my many personas back in the MySpace eras. We're all just trying to figure out who we were. Oh, I'm sorry, Doll Thighs is on the channel. So MySpace was a website back in the early 2000s that kids used to go on and, you know, pretend to be, you know, famous scene kids online. It was a hoot. And you could choose your own little song for your profile to, like, make yourself stand out. And you got to see how bad everyone's taste in music was. It's great. Like, you'd go on someone's page and think, oh, the millionaires again. Good times, good times. Sometimes I miss it. All that was a burden having to like code your own web page. Like I wish I had saw the flowers of the trees with that one. Stop that stuff. Girl, I'm 30. I know what MySpace is. Oh, you should have just took, you should have ran with the bit because I made you sound so much younger. I was going to tell people you were 26, but now you added yourself. That's your problem now. That's your world. <laughs> Oh, did you guys ever do that live, that like stream where you watch the old soap opera? What was it called again? I was gonna look it up <clears throat> and see if it's worth my time. Actually, I think from the hairstyles you showed me, I think this Barbie actually has a similar haircut. The bangs with like the choppy sides. I feel like it's very similar. Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. Okay, YouTube, have you guys heard of this soap opera? They keep trying to push it on me. They're pushers, Katie. They're telling me to watch Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. Have y'all seen that? Okay. Here we go. Ashley's fast on YouTube. Sure. But did you have a live journal? Talk about seeing kids and their emotions. I had a live journal for like a week and I deleted it because it's like one of those things where the most depressing thing it's almost like MySpace when they used to have like the little like what was those things the notes you could leave and you leave it and like no one would read it but you like spent like two hours writing it and that's the most humiliating feeling in the world like you feel like such a loser when it's like you have a live journal that nobody reads so yeah I totally just deleted it after like it got no traction Someone said you are a hidden gem on Facebook. Oh, thank you. We were lied to. They said Facebook is on and popping. It is nothing like that. It's nothing of the sort. They told us it was fly, and she's nothing like that. It's an old maidenly kind of, you know, web page, kind of website. Thought I on Twitch said, the best part of MySpace was ranking your friends. <gasps> I do miss that. And I feel like it was a humbling experience for a lot of, whoa, almost killed the dog, for a lot of people. 
Why are you sleeping there? But yes, this is your fault. But yeah, I do miss that. Like the fights that would break out. Like if I put anyone in my number one spot that wasn't my childhood friend, Jenna, it was a fight. Like she would DM them like, who are you, you ugly bitch? And why are you on my spot? Like it got ugly, <laughs> but she was from Florida. So, you know, it's a different beast over there. You know, they, they sleep with gators. They're, they're built different from us. Raccoon on YouTube said, I'm 150 years old. I never understood Mary Hartman of Hartman's appeal. <laughs> okay, we got one person that's not a fan. It's also like that, sh that TV show Soap, I imagine, where people are really obsessed with it, and I've never watched it, but people that were into it were really into it. When it comes to soap operas, I'm more of a novella girl. Like, what's the one with Talia, where she's a poor girl? Oh, Maria del Barrio. That's, that's the one. Oh my God, the villain in that, Soraya, she's the best. Evil, evil, evil. Like someone that just takes pure joy in being evil. <laughs> On Facebook, Jesse Raymond said, hi, gorgeous. Hello, I have hi. It, I have it in DVD, LOL. Yes, okay. So there's a fan right there. Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman on DVD. I'll have to check it out. I bet it's on Tubi or something. Everything's on Tubi. Chris Taylor wants to know, what products are used in those stiff sculpted updos that are stoned with rhinestones? Um, I'm not exactly sure what other people are using, but if it were me, I did a video on it. I used, um... Uh, mocha de gorilla gel, like gorilla snot. I use that. Mocha, like a coffee. Mocha, right? <laughs> Mo like boogers, <laughs> gorilla boogers. The gorilla booger gel, which they have it like Walgreens. Shut up. They have it like Walgreens and stuff. I'm the queen of mispronunciation. It's my thing. All right. But yeah, they sell it at like Walgreens and stuff. You can get it. It's good. It's like uh, old faithful. You mix that with a little bit of um, a finishing with like you know pump it up or something. And you're in business. Here, I'm gonna leave the link on the chat on YouTube. Right here. Boom, boom. So you can watch. And whoever's watching on Twitch, I'm gonna put the link on the chat on Twitch. Yeah, that was my workaround to get like those big structural hairstyles that everybody's wearing. Also, you got a super chat on YouTube. Well, thank you for the super chat. Hair face, $20. James, you are always so beautiful. Your eyes are especially alluring tonight. Hi, Ernie. Well, hi, Pear. Oh my god, hello. Thank you so much for the compliment. I'm glad I didn't have to like drag that out of you whatsoever. And I'm also glad you were so nice to donate. Thank you. I need that because this poor girl, she needs a home. All right. The, the dollhouse I have is flooded with girls and she's from a different era, so she's not going to fit in. They're going to talk about her behind her back. So we're working on getting a 60s dream house for the girls. And once I fill that up, I know it's time to stop. Chris Lofton on Facebook said, that hair is coming together. I love it. Thank you. She's looking a little like Gemini holograms right now. A little bit like a misfit. Misfits, we're making mischief. Oh my God. Whoa. That came back to me. You guys remember Gemini holograms? The misfits? They had like their own little song. It was a bop. It was a bop. And like they go over there, like turn on a fire hose on Gem and stuff. It's great. Good stuff. Good stuff. I love that. Oh my goodness. It's like the saddest doll tour ever because it's literally just one shelf. <laughs> Maybe I should. That could be a fun Just James update or something or James Mansfield too. I should because I do have a lot of dolls. Like, I don't have a great display set up because I hate buying shelves and building them. So they're all kind of just packed somewhere in a corner. But what I have is pretty cute. I'm not going to lie. I have some good stuff. I was recently gifted a Donnie and Marie doll, like a Donnie Osmond doll. So my new goal is to get that signed since he has a residency here. So I'm going to figure out. Somebody is bound to be a dancer in his show. That's one of my friends because all my friends are dancers. So I'm certain somebody has a connection. There's someone that has an in with Donny Osmond that's going to get that doll signed. 
Okay, you have two new super chats on Facebook. Yes. Chris Taylor gave you five dollars just to give it to you. Thank you. Oh my God, Chris, thanks. And Chris Fox gave you ten dollars. Said I love learning about bombshells of the past from you. Thank you. Oh my God, the iconic blondes and stuff like that. Oh, here's an idea. Me and Ernie were actually toying around this idea. It may be a little work on my end, but I'm willing to do it. I was thinking of maybe doing a live iconic blondes or brunettes or something. And we could just have a, like a general discussion about like an old Hollywood actress or something. Because I think that could be really fun and interactive, like a different approach. Because that would just make it a lot of fun. Like I'll gather up, you know, some good images and stuff so we can just plug them in whenever. What do you guys think about that? So I think it'd be a fun little venture. And also like those videos take so much time because I have to research it and stuff. So it's like, I could easily just like watch it. We could discuss and a lot of times I may get some stuff wrong. So you can correct me, you know, in real time. If you're one of those girls that enjoys doing that, that'll be your chance. <laughs> the correctors in the group. Angel on Twitch said, you are from TikTok, hi. Yes, hello, you are from TikTok. That's a really lofty statement considering I'm never on that app. <laughs> but I appreciate you know me from somewhere, oh my God. Watch, they probably think I'm Trixie or something. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, Plastic TR has let herself go, is what they're thinking right now. And doll thighs on Twitch said, how did you get your RuPaul doll sign? Did you just ambush her with doll? No, um, actually, the story is, I, to get the full story, I was bidding on the supermodel doll and I lost her on eBay, but it got, it turned into like a bloodbath, okay? And the person that was selling it messaged me because they recognized my username, because my username is of course James Mansfield on eBay. <laughs> so they're like, yeah, um, they messaged me like, I have extras if you want to buy one. And they actually gave me a really good price on it. So I bought two from him and Dragon came up and I decided I wasn't doing a booth or anything. I was just gonna walk around and interview people. And in the green room, I knew one of those days RuPaul was gonna be spinning. So I have a friend that is a producer there. And I told him like, I will kill your family if you don't get these dolls signed. And lo and behold, he left for a good two hours and came back and they were signed. So that's how that story goes. Cause RuPaul, he just walked them up and found the opportunity when she was taking a break. And she just like, oh, <laughs> love it. Signed RuPaul, that was that. Like, she loves that stuff. Like, if you have the dolls and everything, she adores it. Like, if she does another meet and greet, just bring the dolls. She'll sign them. She loves that. Who doesn't love having a doll of themselves? Ashley um, on YouTube gave you a super chat for $20. Thank you so much. Oh, and you just got another super chat right now from Mike T for $13.99. That said, adore you, James. My hubby, Matt, and I have been fans of your journey for quite some time. Thanks for bringing joy and amazing pop culture knowledge to the kids. Mercy from Montreal. Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart. In Montreal, that's in Canada where Deer's from. So say hi to her if you see her. My gosh. So many Canadians I know, it's crazy. Who knew I was so popular in Canada? Well, that makes me feel really good, Mike B. And people are saying yes to the Iconic Blondes live stream. Okay, let's do it. Is there anyone in particular you guys want to talk about? Because I'm open to like ideas. We could do a redo if you want of somebody or if you want someone a discussion of someone I already did, that's totally fine. I don't mind. Let's get some names out there. Because I think Iconic Blondes is so much fun because it's really fascinating to like talk about that with other people. And sometimes you'll get insights from things you, people you don't even know, like especially with certain girls. Like if it's like the more recent past, sometimes people will like interact with that actually worked with them. And you get like some fun insider tea. Ethel from Lucy. Oh, Ethel, yes. I forget the actress's name, but she is fascinating and she is an iconic blonde. And often overlooked, like the sidekicks, like the second bananas, I always sometimes like them more than the main characters. Like I always like Rhoda more than Mary. Also, Rhoda was prettier. I don't think a lot of people gave her enough credit for that, but Valerie Harper was beautiful. Like the funny sidekick characters are always fascinating to me. Maybe it's because I just wonder what that life is like, being a main character, you know? <laughs> I guess what we could do is announce on 
community page on YouTube who you're going to talk about that live stream and then on Twitch on your story so people know what you're going to talk about before you go live. Oh yeah, totally. We could do that. Yeah, I should could I could probably do like a redo or something like talk about Marilyn Monroe or somebody like that. That'd be cool. Cuz like there's always so much stuff that gets left, like left out. So it's cool to like, do like an hour live stream talking about somebody while I style a wig based on them. I may have to pre-roller set it because sometimes those hairstyles can be pretty intense. <laughs> so in order to finish it in real time, I may have to like do some steps ahead of time. Who are saying Ingrid Pitt? <gasps> oh yes! A famous screen queen, Ingrid Pitt. That'd be a great one. She's wonderful. Famous, famous scream queen. One of the originals from the 60s. Like hammer horror. <laughs> said Miss Piggy. <laughs> she is an iconic blonde. <gasps> that reminds me, Doll Thighs actually gifted me a gorgeous creature. She's downstairs. I didn't bring her up with me, but she is a hippo. Doll thighs. Huh? Oh, not Doll Thighs. Doll Witness, sorry. So many dolls. There's so many dolls, okay? It's like... The early 2000s with female rappers, everyone's a doll, all right? But yes, Doll Witness gifted me um, a gorgeous creature doll. They're these little teeny tiny dolls like this, but they have Barbie's feet so they can share like shoes with Barbie. It's literally a glamorous hippo with like brushable hair and a stylish outfit. It is insane looking. It's like meet the feebles. I, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm not gonna lie to you, I am sweating right now. It is hot. Is the heat on? Probably. Probably, it's okay, you know. I'm working through it. People are saying, what about iconic redheads? What about redheads? What's iconic about that? No, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I have been saying I'm gonna do iconic redheads forever. Maybe that could be the debut episode. We could talk about like Rita Hayworth or Lucy or somebody. <gasps> Oh, I could talk to Chanel at Drag Brunch because she's obsessed with Lucille Ball. Like, that's her favorite person in the whole world. So if I need to get inside, I could just ask her. I wonder if she was in Rat Race. Do you remember that movie? Where they're, they're trapped on the bus with the Lucille Ball impersonators? I wonder if Chanel's in that. I am curious. I would DM her, but she doesn't use social media, so I have to like ask her in person. She's one of those people. You gotta like actually dial them on their landline. Oh, it is? Maybe I'm just a heater myself. I'm just burning up myself. That's okay. It's all good. I'm just that hot. Okay, what am I doing now? Da 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 so they said, Ernie, why not open a Google request form for iconic suggestions? Because I don't know how to do that. We don't know what that is. Like, I remember when I g gave a wig to Mistress Isabel Brooks, she was like, why don't you just Uber package it? And I like sent her a message back like, what's that? <laughs> like, I'm queen of late to the party, all right? I miss late to the party. That's my sash. Um, I'm always the last to find out about everything. And something will be, something like will pass me by and years will have gone by without me ever realizing it was a thing. Trends, everything. Why do you think I dress like I'm from the 50s and 60s, okay? At least those trends have passed, but I'm aware of them. So I can keep up with it. And now we're just figuring out Twitch. Right. Like I just found out Twitch is lit. Do you know how long it took us to figure out OBS, okay? And to realize it was actually really user-friendly and intuitive. We were just intimidated, okay? We heard new program, we thought, oh no, 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 no. Trusty Sam said, my grandma had Lucille hair. It was her natural color. <gasps> she was naturally a henna red. I love that. Oh my goodness. Lucille Ball always intrigued me because like I love those like old school queens of comedy and especially like her, she was notoriously known for being like a hard ass. Like, she got shit done. Like, you didn't mess around with her time. You didn't play around with her time. And I'll have to mention, like, my favorite is, like, when Tallulah Bankhead was a guest star. And she was certain Tallulah was going to be a big drunk mess and not know any of her lines because she didn't come to any of the rehearsals. 
because Tallulah notoriously never rehearsed. So, when she arrived, she was shocked to learn that like, Tallulah had memorized the whole script. <laughs> but they're expecting her to be such a pain in the ass, like she's prepared for it. Sestry Contest said, Erica Blank for Iconic Redhead. Erica Blank, Iconic Redhead for a free number three Barbie. Erica Blank for Iconic Redheads for a free number three Barbie. You don't have a number three Barbie centrist. You're lying. You're full of it. And I don't know who Erica Blank is. Who is that? It doesn't sound familiar. Is she a real housewife? Is she that one that was, um, that's getting sued right now? Like her husband's going to jail and stuff? I don't follow the housewives. I just see the headlines. Brian said Tallulah. Tallulah for Iconic Brunettes. That'd be fun. I mean, it's kind of a hairstyle. Her hairstyle is kind of basic. It's literally just like, you know, a center part or like a side part, like page boy, <laughs> which I've done forever. And like flat to her head. Like there's no volume, but I could. I love Tallulah. Just talking about her would be fun. She's green. She's green and gorgeous. That's almost a Twitch is dying. I'm like, we just found out about it. Right, it can't be dying. Unless you want me to go to that one where they allow gambling, which like, girl, I already I already restarted Twitch. I'm not starting anything now. Okay, back off. Or what was the other one, Kick? Kick, yeah, where like the people gamble on it or something. I can't remember what the, the appeal of it was. It's like the Wild West over there. Something tells me I'll like go on there for five minutes live and some like little kid will call me the F word. That's what I imagine is gonna happen over there. You know what's really dying? What? Facebook. Girl, Facebook. We were lied to. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's an old maidenly type of website. <laughs> Century called you on your bluff and said, sending a pic of number three Barbie on Instagram right now. Okay, bitch. Let's see then. Let's see what you got. I don't believe you because everyone says they have a number three and it's usually like a number six. Disguising itself, parading itself as a number three. So I'm gonna call your bluff, bitch. Let's see. Let's see what you're packing. Here we go. And Prince Harmin on Twitch said, <laughs> kick is where people go to when they're banned here. Oh! Oh, so it's kind of like, it's kind of decadent and dangerous. Let's see. Sentry, is your stuff the same thing on Instagram? I don't see you popping up. Let me see. Oh, God, that's a picture of Trixie I saw right there, all oiled up. She looked like a chicken. All right. Sentry. Why don't I know how to spell Sentry? Let me look up Countess. Let's see. What? You don't even know how to use Instagram. <laughs> I'm trying to look. I don't know how to spell century. I was spelling it like the old grocery store in Milwaukee. That's a little embarrassing. That's century. With an S. Yeah, I did that. That was me. Well, people in the chat are like messaging you how to spell that. <laughs> well, little do they know, I don't look at that. <laughs> She sent, now she says she sent on Messenger. Oh, look at, Facebook? oh, I see her now. There we go. Now I should be able to see you. Let's see. See if you'll pop up now. Let's see. Let's see. That's an awfully blurry picture, Sentry. That could be anything. That could be literally anything. So, I mean, I'll look at this Erica... Erica Jane Blank that you want. And if she is a sexy fly woman, then sure. Perhaps she will be an iconic blonde. But we shall see. Who is she? Let me see, where's my other phone? Hey Siri. 
Who is Erica Blank? Mm-hmm. Okay. I found this on the web for who is Erica Blank. Check it out. Um... It says here she is an MD at Mount Pleasant. Dr. Erica Blank, is that who you mean? Okay, random, very random. <laughs> who is that? I don't know. But apparently there's a many women of prominence with that same name. You know, an MD is really hard to get. I think, what's an MD again? Medical doctor? Something like that. Something like that. You know, it requires college and student loan debt. So she's important. She's making moves in the world. No, not her. She's an actress. Oh. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, well, she sounds lovely too. <laughs> not quite as not quite as impressive as an MD, but you know, still something. It takes work to be an actress. Put that there. All right, let's go down in here. LOL, not oily Trixie. She was super oily. I think she was sweaty, like she went for a run or something. But it was like the first thing that popped up in my Instagram feed, and I had to go and mute her. You know what? Twitch keeps lag lagging. I'm going to add Facebook Live. Okay. <laughs> All right, so if you're on Facebook Live, go to Twitch or YouTube. Yes. Because Twitch is lagging and we can't have that. Yeah, it's making everything lag on the other end. And honestly, there's just not enough people here. I'm so sorry. Just go watch me on YouTube. Or Twitch. Or Twitch. But chances are probably YouTube because I'm pretty sure they might have it over there. Because like I said, you know, the buses are returning them back to the home as we speak. All right, bye, Facebook. Bye, Facebook. Catch me somewhere else. All right, hopefully that stops the lagging on Twitch. Okay. All right, let's see. Did it help? Everything okay? All right, I can close that Facebook then. Ugh. Bye, flop. All right. <laughs> there we are. Don't tell him I said that. All right, here we are. Someone said, I think Erica's an Italian actress. Oh, okay. That doesn't narrow things down for me. Is she like a 70s or 60s Italian actress? What did she do? What's she known for? What's she in? What's her movies? Maybe I've seen it. Is she like a Fellini actress or something? So I probably would have seen it if it's one of those. La, 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 la. Oh, God. Okay. Trusty Sam on Twitch said, I just got the Trixie Disco Box. The darkest pink on the palette is still the lightest pink I've ever owned. Really? I have that somewhere in here. I have the white disco palette in here. I use that for like my inner, my eyelid for most of the time. It's good stuff. Like I use almost everything drag queen products or gay people. That's like my, my one rule. Aside from my foundation, everything is just like gay people. I like to wear nothing but gay owned brands. If I can help it. Century says she's in the devil's nightmare and when Evelyn came from the grave. Okay, what that second movie sounds familiar. It's like Hammer Horror. Because Hammer Horror could be fun. That might actually be some cute hair. Like the 60s, they really snap with their hair. Is she like an Ingrid Pitt kind of actress? Sarah wants to know, what foundation do you use? I use Derma Blend. Yes, Derma Blend Cream, full coverage cream, which they stopped carrying at my local Ulta and I still haven't forgiven them for. But it is what it is, you know, it's fine. I've made my work, I found my work around with it. I just buy it from their website now. Sen Pai on Twitch wants to know, James, are you familiar with Isabella Rossellini? Of course I am, oh my God. Um, her best series aside, like Blue Velvet, good. Um, the movie, what was it, the, where she played Perdita Durango before Rosie Perez? I think it's like Crazy Heart or something or Crazy at Heart. A lot of David Lynch stuff, um, but her magnum opus was, she was one of the first people to cater to like internet content. She did the green, I can't say it, P word, but the green corno, but replaced the C with a P, where she discussed the sex lives of insects and she would actually dress up as the insect. 
The best one, in my opinion, was probably the, um, the praying mantis is good, or the snail. How snails make love is very interesting and fascinating. But yeah, the green corn owl. Look that up on YouTube. They're there. She did them for like the Sundance Channel's like streaming platform back when they first launched it years ago. I have the book and everything, like a DVD with all the episodes. Like I was obsessed. La 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 la. Green. We love green. She's kind of, she's starting to come together now. All right, let's see what the chat's going on. What are you kids, kooky kids talking about? We love a corn film. Yes. You know, it's an artsy, artsy corn film made by Isabella Rosalini dressed as an insect with puppets. It sounds exactly like what it is because she is a goddess. <gasps> Goldie Hawn for Iconic Brunettes. I would love that. Oh my God. Goldie Hawn is a national treasure, okay? Can we talk about it? Like Goldie Hawn is iconic. We love her. You know, Private Benjamin and the First Wives Club. Mandatory gay viewings. She's also in Shampoo. All right, Douglas Valdez has sent you a super chat for $20 on YouTube. <clears throat> Thank you. I teach a LGBTQ Latinx slash Latina social justice and advocacy class for therapists. Will you ever consider being a paid guest speaker? Oh my God, where? That's kind of, that's interesting. I love that. That's awesome. Like, that's super cool. Guest speaker, like I'm interested. Like. I totally probably would do it. Email bookjamesmansfield at gmail.com. Right. <laughs> That's usually we can hit me up at if it's anything related to that. We can talk about it. See how we can make it work. Because I'm not really traveling out of like, you know, necessity now where like I don't do it if I don't feel like it. But I would, I'd probably, you know, make the trip for that. That sounds important. He said it's an Antioch University. Where is that? Where is that? Give me a location. And then it just depends where it is. Culver if it's City, California. Oh, California. Okay, that's that's different. I thought you were going to say one of those states where, like, if I go out and drag, I'll get arrested. Yeah, if it's, like, one of those cities, like, best of luck to you. I'm not going. You know, well wishes, well wishes, but I'm not going. <laughs> Oh, he's at Seattle. <laughs> oh, Seattle, even better. Okay, that's fine. He said it will be in Zoom. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's even better, honestly. I could just show up. And then, you know, jump on Twitch right after. <laughs> Trust me, Sam on Twitch wants to know, do you ever get into a little scent flow when you're styling wigs? Um, I like to say that it's peaceful, but everything I do here is like creative chaos. It's all a matter of just, you know, me just hacking at it until it's done. But I like styling hair. It's not like relaxing, but it does like, you know, it's fun. I'd rather be doing this than working behind a desk. I should, I, I, I should strike that. I like styling synthetic wigs for drag queens. I'd rather be doing this than like styling actual like hair for like clients in a salon. That sounds like hell. I used to work in one as a receptionist and I don't know what it is about beauticians, but like, when it's that actual career, there's some of the most miserable people around because of like the clients are so insufferable and so needy. And like they want a million things and then like they change their mind on the spot. So like that kind of pressure cooker situation, I could never be a part of. Oh, sorry, Puff. <laughs> Century on YouTube said, I recommend Evelyn. I recommend Evelyn came from the gray first. Her hair is and the stripper coffin scene is great. Stripper coffin? Okay, this does sound familiar. This sounds, it sounds fascinating. <clears throat> I would definitely check that out. Stripper coffin has already won me over. Watching you style this hair is so relaxing. Thanks, honey. I'm glad I, you're one of those people that falls asleep to my videos because I get that quite a lot. Everyone's always just like, I fall asleep to you. And I'm just like, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bro, what does that mean? 
That you're boring or? That's it, I was like, am I boring or is my voice relaxing? A combination of both. You know, I'm at this point when nothing really offends me anymore. Especially after the Monet Exchange comment earlier I read. Nothing offends me anymore. <laughs> I keep forgetting to put your tip me. Oh, thank you. On your Twitch, Twitch chat. Oh, yes. Tip me if you like. Give me your tips. Ah, oh, just a tip. Only the tip. Alex Lopez said, I'm loving your eye makeup. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're switching up a little bit today. I'm trying something different. Well, it's not really that different. It's kind of like makeup I was doing a few years ago. Just like I want to switch it up because I was getting really bored with my makeup routine. I wanted to try something new. And also, in case you missed the beginning of the stream, if you're just tuning in, um, it was recently my birthday. Um, Monday was my birthday, the 19th. And I read a comment on one of those carousel posts on, you, on Instagram where they rank all the famous birthdays from Drag Race Girls. And like I share birthday with Daya Betty, um, Alyssa Hunter, and Monet Exchange. And Monet Exchange in particular were the exact same age. We're born the vic almost like hours between each other. So, someone commented on it. Wow, I can't believe Monet and James are the same age. James looks so much older. And this is my... That was my wake up call. That was my moment. That was my 13th reason why. That was me realizing it's time to switch up the paint. Because <laughs> apparently I paint like I'm a 40 year old. It's time to put away the 90s makeup tutorial. <laughs> 90s supermodels not working anymore. It's fine. Let's try something different. Let's give it to the girls a different way. Someone said for a Connor Blanc, she should do Jennifer Coolidge. But the thing is, like, she only wears flat hair. Yeah, like, it's just like a middle part with roots. She doesn't really have many iconic hairstyles. Aside from, like, that one bouffant she wore to People's Choice Awards, that's kind of it. But I don't know her for having, like, iconic big hair. Maybe her hair from Legally Blonde, because that's, like, kind of big. <clears throat> and also kind of, like, batshit insane when you look at it. Sensible Salad on Twitch said, you used to be part of my bedtime prep before I caught up with all your YouTube videos. Something about you explaining book styling helped me shut off my brain. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> At this point, it's like, James, just take the compliment. <laughs> Don't examine it too deeply. If it sounded nice, just go with it, you know? It's like when I hear people say, you're so much prettier in person. It's like, what the fuck does that mean? What, am I a hag on YouTube? Are you like looking at this thing and it's insidious? Like what's going on? Don't answer that. That wasn't for you to debate in the comment section, by the way. Keep that to yourself. Hi, Puff, you just waking up? I put him to sleep too. Lo and behold, like a little mini hairspray just fell off the counter and hit him in the butt. And he like startled up and then went right back to sleep. So yeah. My dog, he has superpowers. And there he goes again, just laying down on the floor. Good for you. I'm glad you can do that. You have such a hard life. Literally, he wakes up, he lays down and eats, and then he gets up and lays somewhere else. That's his life. Now well said, Jeff Coolidge and Legally Blonde, is that not drag hair? I mean, that's what I was saying. Like, that's probably her most interesting hairstyle. Like the big scrunchy pull-up. Like, pull That'll be done in five minutes. Honestly, <laughs> Like I just do a, what, a curl set and then put it in a ponytail. Like a little cheerleader ponytail. But like, I'm not arguing Jennifer's not iconic. It's just she doesn't have iconic hair. It's kind of, you know, a little basic. Some people just can't have it all, you know? Whereas, like, I'm similar to her where I'm iconic, but I also have iconic hair, so. That's why I'm like, those, that's going to have to be, like, an episode where you just sit down and talk. Right. <laughs> or at April Fool's, where it's just like I literally just sit down, style her five minutes, and then get off. <laughs> you asked for this. Here you go. 
I'm Chris Toker. Yes, subscribed on Twitch. Thank you for subscribing. Did it show the new subscriber or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. I drew those damn things. They must be seen. Prince Harmin on Twitch said, I was told you have good skin considering how much makeup you wear, and I'm still processing it. That is really hate hurtful to hear. <laughs> Like they expect you to have like skin, like sandpaper, like third grade sandpaper, just like the really thick kind. They're like, what do you think I use? <laughs> like it's not Sherman Williams I'm putting on my face. Have you tried the cosplay ponytail styling with a contact cement and PVC pipe on top? Contact cement? That is actually really clever. No, um, I haven't used contact cement since I was a puppet builder. And like, I always didn't like it because it's really like finicky to use. And it stinks like real bad, like it's super toxic. But that's actually pretty clever. Like I bet it would work. Yeah, I bet that would work really well. That's actually kind of cool. Like the super shellac like helmet kind of cosplay ponytail. I've been looking in how to make those ponytail bases, like the ones you actually make the cap and everything, because I am fascinated by them. I think they are really cool. So if I figure it out, possibly. Monday night ballroom on YouTube said, speaking of iconic, I love your Monopoly video. Oh my God, thank you. <clears throat> Where Jasmine Kennedy lied to us several times and said she's really good at the game and then bombed miserably. <laughs> I'm still not over it. Like she was leading the conversation with all the rules and everything and was so horrible at it. <laughs> Speaking of puppets, what did you think of the doll making episode of Drag Race? I liked it. I was almost jealous, but then I saw it was like those weird dolphy kind of dolls, and I was like, oh, I'm not that jealous. Those dolls are just mid. But yeah, I thought it was really fun. Like, what a fun challenge. Imagine if they actually partnered with Mattel and got like Barbie or something. But yeah, I think it was really, I thought it was really fun. All the girls were very creative, especially like we have to make your own like commercial where you talk over it. It reminded me of the princess challenge I didn't get to do on Drag Race. I would have nailed that one. Oh, do we have a super chat? Yeah, but they're trying to be messy, so. Oh. We don't allow chismosas in these chats. Yeah, so. if you're a chismosa, back off, okay? Take your tip back, I don't care. I'm not here to start drama, fool. Take that somewhere else. Roger said, you would have eight. Thank you. <laughs> Is that Darling Dolphine? Roger, yep, Roger Lloyd, yep. Hey, darling. I just hung out with Jack the Doll's Witness and his twin. They're, at, they're not the same person. They didn't split like an amoeba. I thought they would, like, like um, Dragon Ball Z Fusion. I thought it was gonna be like that with twin magic. <laughs> It's okay, Matthew, you're, you're forgiven. All right, let's see. All right, did they bring back the puppets on season 16? I don't know. The puppet challenge is always one of my favorites. That's like when they're like shady to each other and stuff. Uh, and we always I know, we always, that's the thing too. If it did happen, I wouldn't know because I don't watch the full episode. <laughs> the way I watch Drag Race is super fierce where like I will literally just start it, fast forward to the runway and the lip sync. Cause that way you're impartial. Like if someone's mean or something, I have no idea what happened. Like I only just found out that like people were fighting with each other cause I had to host a viewing party. So it's just like, oh, I guess that's happening. But other than that, if anything else should happen, I have a clean slate. So I'm just judging people based on their fashion and their hair. Like, you know, a regular viewer. Holly on YouTube said, James, you'll always be my drag superstar. Thank you, Holly. Oh my God. Appreciate that. Let's see what am I missing here on the hill? 
<laughs> huh? I'm on Twitch, so I don't watch Drag Race. I only watch the pit stop. <laughs> the armpit stop? As we, that's what we call it now that Orville's been on it. <laughs> All the people being thirsty for him in the comment section. I actually met him in real life. I seen him without his mask, so you can be jealous. It's okay. Be jealous! He smells like denim, sweat, and um, that one, like, Gucci cologne. It smells like that. Deca High said, this hair would be perfect for Greta Gremlin. It is very Greta Glam Gremlin that I'm looking at, like the wedding Greta. So if that's your vibe, you know, go for it. It's glamorous green. Or green glamour, what do we call this? Green glamour, that's what it is. So yeah, very Greta Gremlin. Live that life, be that fantasy. There's a little hole there that's bothering me, but we'll work through it. We're working through our problems right here on this live stream. There it is. For people watching on Twitch, is it still lagging or we're good now? Yeah, how is it going? Are you folks, you know, still struggle bussing over there? Since we dumped Facebook, are y'all thriving now? <laughs> Since we moved on, we, you know, found something with somebody new. We good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. All right, well, she's kind of almost there. Oh, so, little life hack that I learned actually from Mistress Isabel Brooks' video is Pump It Up Gold's containers suck. They suck. Like, the little, like, caps on them always, like, break or they get jammed. So, I actually dumped out my expired Dolly Parton vintage hairspray and filled it up with Pump It Up Gold, and now it actually works. See? Because Dolly's were actually quality pumps. But, you know, the product's still good, so we're going to make use of it so it doesn't expire. So this is filled with Pump It Up Gold now. Although it still kind of smells like Dolly's hairspray, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to get, like, a rash or something if it hits my skin. But that's what we suffer through for our art. Our bottom. Don't want a messy bottom. Girl said, um, on Twitch, I like Mistress with Cap Tip, but I still think I like you better. Also, about that video, Mistress actually styled one of your fashion dolls in red. That's the one that you gave to her. Yeah, for um with the one she came over to my house and told me how Uber packaged. <laughs> She's like stupid bitch didn't know what Uber package was. Yeah, that's actually the red fashion doll that she restyled. She wore that for the finale. So those of you that are trying to be messy and bring my name in the comment section, I'm there, all right? I'm in that video. You can see my wig tag in there from James Mansfield Beauty. Mama. I adore Mistress, I think she's fun. I love a bitch with no filter. Corey Segerstormstrom? said hello from Madison, Wisconsin. Oh my God, my hometown, Madison, Wisconsin, according to the internet. Well, hello. <laughs> according to the internet? According to the internet. I've never stepped foot there. I've never been there in my life, but apparently I was born there. <laughs> Although, you guys already know on YouTube, I'm no longer a Milwaukee queen. I'm a Las Vegas queen. <laughs> That's the storyline, that's what we're going with. Like I said, you said you would lie for me. This is the lie. That's the new lie we're going with, okay? Jay wants to know, did you know any of the season 16 girls before the season started? Um, actually, no. This is one of the first ones I've like watched where I didn't know anyone going into it. Like I've heard of Mirage Amaro, but I never actually really met her. So she was a brand new kind of thing. Cause like I never really went to Piranha. Like, I've only been to Piranha once. 
So I, I never actually saw a show, so I didn't really know what she could do until I actually saw her talent show. And my mind was blown, because like, I already knew the reputation of Piranha Girls, because like, they're known for like, performing at like 3 a.m. and doing backflips and stuff. They'll jump off balconies. Like, they're insane over there. Like, you know, they're bringing you Cirque du Soleil at 2 a.m. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the girls could do like contortionism or something. Oh, on the YouTube side, I wonder if there's a drag queen named Madison, Wisconsin. If not, I mean, the name's for grabs. <laughs> it's very a Hannah Montana kind of name. <laughs> <clears throat> what was my Hannah Montana rock star name? Johnson, Wisconsin. <laughs> Curious said, howdy from Texas. <sighs> well, howdy! What part of Texas? Oh, finish this for me. The stars and stripes are big and bright. <laughs> they'll, they'll type it out. They'll type it out. It probably has more effect if you actually hear them. They'll, they'll type it out, it's fine. <laughs> Prince Harmon said, I went to Piranha during TwitchCon. It was cute, but it was so pricey. Oh, yeah, so here's the tea. I don't work there, so I can like spill this for you. Next time you come to Vegas for TwitchCon and you're gonna wanna do something gay, if you're gonna go to Piranha, which is like everyone goes there, go to either um, Gypsy or what's the other one across the street from it? Quads. Quads, go to Quads the pregame and then get good and full and walk over to Piranha so you don't buy the drinks there because the drinks are expensive as hell. That's the hack, that's the local hack. You'll like come here and you'll know that and locals will be like, wow, you must be a local and you'll feel so cool. Brittany said, aloha from Hawaii. Well, aloha, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I'm just here primping the wig now. Everything's done. So we're just hanging out at this point. But she's looking pretty. Just gotta clean her up a little bit. Let's see if they finished it. Deep in the heart of Texas. There you are. Yes. I love that kind of carrying on. <laughs> oh, is it Denton, Texas you're from? I always wanted to go to Denton just because of shock treatment. I probably wouldn't like it, but I just, I just like that movie. So I, I probably should abandon that dream, eh? What do you think? Something tells me I probably wouldn't like it. There's probably, you know, no Ruby Wax or anybody there. Or Jessica Harper. Gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful hair. When you asked the name of that one aimless actor from the quarry, no one suggested it was eligible for... Oh, okay, all right, let's see. Makes me think of the Mountain Goats song. Oh, which one? The Mountain Goats, that, that unlocked a deep recess of memory. My favorite one was that really like <laughs> mean one, No Children. <laughs> It's like a bitter lover lamenting to their ex. Mountain goats, man, that's an oldie that like went back like the grizzly bear kind of set. I've heard that name in forever. My 2010 playlist. The best ever death metal band is out of Denton. Really? Who was it? I wanna know, oh my gosh. Well, where are we at for time, Ernie? A minute, 25 seconds. 25 seconds, 25 um, minutes. Um, a minute? An hour? An hour, yeah. An hour, he said a minute. I was like, <laughs> wait, what? I read it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, did we get caught in a vortex? What happened here? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs>
Oh, it's just the college town? Okay, never mind. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be interested then. Blech. I need I need a shopping center or something. Some kind of thing happening there. But yes, this is it. This is our style. This is glamorous green. Glamour green, green glamour. She's gorgeous. I just gotta clean up a little bit, cut some strays. But for the most part, we have styled the entire wig on live stream yet again. Look at me. Look at the talent. Now before I go. Will I... it be available? Oh yes. The wig is gonna be available at James Mansfield Beauty. So look for her there. She'll be on sale there if you wanna own a piece of history, a piece of hair story. She will be available there very shortly as soon as I get everything posted up. Thank you guys so much for watching on, you know, YouTube and Twitch and before I cancel Facebook, you know, if you're watching there, thank you. If you're watching this, you know, on a post stream, thank you. And yeah, I think we're gonna sign up for the night because I just drove four hours and now I'm ready to be out of makeup. Look what I did for you folks. I gave you a live wig Wednesday. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, oh, if you gave us super thanks or subscribe on Twitch, thank you so much. I appreciate it. We are going live every week. And it seems like Thursday is kind of the day I usually am live playing a video game. Unless brunch starts up again on Thursdays, that might, may or may not happen. We'll figure that out. Because we're going to start doing brunch on Thursdays now. So we'll see what happens. But there will be a live every single week. I can guarantee that, okay? So... Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you. For